Hey there, I'm Full Moon Beaver. Hey there, I'm well, Full Moon Beaver. Welcome back to Beavercraft and Medieval Island. Look at that. How beautiful is that? We'll say first off though, there are designs here I've used from Blueprints. So first off, this gate entrance here with the Twin Towers. Bad choice for words, I'm sorry. But that's not my design. Uh, the walls... It was a bit sticking out either side of them towers, so I've just copied that design and sent it along. And them bits at the on the corners, the circular tower bits, they're mine. And on the flags are nice, aren't they? They're nice and cute. Um, these little street lamps here, they're from a blueprint, so I thought I'd stick them in. They'd suit the medieval build nicely. Uh, that building there is a blacksmith. I haven't done an interior yet, so I won't take you inside. But that again is from Blueprint. The wall just behind it, that's my design. Um, over here we've got a town hall building. That is not my design. That is again from a Blueprint. And it's actually a quite... Uh, quite nice you know it's, it's not as detailed as other builds but it you know it's fine and lastly this clock tower wish it was my design but it's not um, there is a reason I've done this because uh, all these builds have varying amounts of detail and different detail if that makes sense and um, there's no like copied theme going from one build to the next so I've got something to work with for future builds so it's going to work in my favour. I'll start doing more of my own stuff. And the pathway is going to go wrapping around this building until it reaches the floor. So I'll crack on with that. And hopefully have something to show for you in the, in the next episode. Uh, this idea I've got here is when walkways, instead of just meeting them up and just linking them together, I'll have something like this for each one. And have them all dotted along the walls, even if there's no light cross sections meeting each other. But I'm not too keen on the roof on that. This, however, is my design. Or all, all this bridge. I just thought I'd chuck a bridge on there instead of building a wall. And I do like it. Uh, the bridge design is copied straight from uh, Beefcraft Fortress. The entrance is a bridge over the, the big gate. I've added the bit in the middle, but uh, otherwise it's exactly the same. Uh, this one I'm actually quite happy with. Nice little lamp design, the street lights on the, each of the four corners, and some nice subtle detailing here. Um, might add a bit more cobblestone because there's a lot of stone brick there. We might add some wood, perhaps dark oak. Let me know what you think about that. And this design is stunning. It took me a while to get that up and built today. I kept making far too many mistakes. And given this is going to be the poor area, or well, start of it, um, there's a lot of coarse dirt and podzle. No real pathways. Let the peasants walk in the dirt, I say. So what I'm going to do here pardon me, it's going to build a little house, a little poor person's house. It's a bit of space, that's fine. Um, that's a bit too small. Give him a little bit more room. A couple more blocks, that'll do. There we are. Mm, I think a bit of cobble. That would work. Like I said about getting inspiration from these blueprints I've built, uh, the blacksmith uses a lot of cobblestone over the stone brick walls for detailing. So what I'm going to do <coughs> is do the same here. Let's see how that goes. I'm totally making this up off the top of my head as I go. So this uh, this build will be quite interesting. So I usually take my time when building and well, yeah, we're going through this pretty quick already. <laughs> so 
So, what I'll do with this build is uh, only build it while I'm on recording. So you can see it as it's being built. And if you want to use it, by, by all means do so. I'm fine with that, just don't take credit for it please. Unless it's really, really good. Then you probably will. That's, uh, that is lovely, isn't it? Fair dues. Whoever designed that's a legend. Right. Time for some wood. I think the dark oak looks best. It's more of a... Oops. Look at that. Still doing it. Mistakes everywhere. Um, the dark oak looks best, I think, for this wood. Blocks I'm putting in because it's more brown. Whereas if you use any of the others, there's like either too many gears or the other one looks a bit looks got too much of a, a red tint to it. And I don't think that's going to suit the medieval look that well. But uh, for the foreseeable future, I'll be doing all my videos over in this section. No windows because they're too poor. So they're going to have fence posts instead. So what we'll do... Stick some more... Detail in this. Is that too much? Too little? Um, oh, I'm not too sure. Well, we'll leave that for the time being. I think that's the best course of action. There we go. That looks much better. Like that. Or should we do it upside down? Yeah, I think the upside down looks better. Oops. Oh dear. Yeah, that's better. I have to do something here because it's the entrance. Hmm, how about we stick them there? That's alright, isn't it? I'll raise these a bit. Since I've started doing the blueprints, I've found that building layer by layer has helped me a lot more. So I, I tend to add the detail as I go, whereas before I'd build the shell of a house, then whack a roof on, then add the detail. So. I find this is starting to work a little bit better for me. We've all got our own ways, I suppose. Anyway, I'll we'll have uh, some more fence posts in there to let the light shine in. If nothing else, may give them a torch. I said may. There's no guarantee about that. And don't forget, my next two videos will be Wednesday and Friday. They'll be my medieval citadel tutorials. So, don't forget to go and watch them. Because that build's going to look absolutely amazing when it's done. I just wish I had been responsible for that design. Right. I think that's too much cobble. Put some wooden fence posts in. And then... That wood block, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, we'll go with that. What I'll do stick some stone brick stairs in. Just break up the cobblestone look, I think. I mean, it might not stay there, it might take it down. Let's we'll see how it goes. There's always room for improvement and editing and changing the look of your builds. Right, what I do here, stick the upside down stairs there, and 
over here. Put that there. That looks pretty cool. Now it's time for some doors. Yeah, that'll do. Not there. There. Actually, just maybe the one. Come back to that bit. We could stick two there. Maybe support like a little peak at the front of the house and extend that away from it. See, I always got these ideas. My, my head's just running in Minecraft mode all the time. I swear I don't think about anything else. Right, stick these in here. Let's see how this goes. Downstairs there, and put slabs in here, in the corners. Do, 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 do. There we go. Put some more upside down stairs in. That was one thing I was so glad that. 4J added to the the game when they did because it's been able to give us so much more in terms of detail you know upside down stairs I never thought I'd actually hear something like that and get excited about it. but I did I should wish we could have like we've got vertical half slab uh, horizontal half slab sorry and I'd love to have vertical ones you know standing upright I think that would add a new dimension to uh, everybody's build, to be quite honest. But one day I do plan to get a PC and start doing Minecraft on the PC. Um, I also have an idea for a survival series, but I'd, ideally I'd love to do that on PC. So I can have shaders and mods or whatever and just really make a good go of it because I'd have so much more on offer. What do you think? Is this looking good? We'll put these in for now. If I don't like it, we'll take them off next episode. Like I said, I won't build any more of this until I'm recording again so you can see it as it gets built. Well, one final look as we end this video I'd like to thank you for watching let us know what you think in the comments below if you like the video click that little like button I'd really appreciate it if you haven't already subscribed please do if you have just please share let your friends know let your dog your gran your neighbors whoever just get everybody to come and watch it's a masterpiece in the making, making. Like, like, you can buy. Ta-ta!